Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. This is Faith Under Fire. Each Thursday on Family Life, we give voice to religious battlegrounds in this nation. I'm your host, Tracy Lynn. With us today, Kate Anderson, Senior Counsel for Alliance Defending Freedom. If you can just update us, Colorado cake baker Jack Phillips has been back in court again. Would you tell us about this latest suit, Kate? Well, no one should be forced to create speech that violates their core convictions. They should have no one force them to do that. And that's what this case is about. On the day that the Supreme Court agreed to hear Jack Phillips' first case, Gardena, a transgender attorney from the Denver area, contacted Jack and requested a custom cake to celebrate Gardena's gender transition. Because of Jack's religious beliefs, Masterpiece declined that request, and that triggered a three-plus-year legal case against Jack Phillips that culminated in a trial during the last week or so. My understanding is that several requests from Autumn Scardina really sort of pushed the envelope beyond the gender reveal cake. Yes. Well, this case really represents a disturbing trend of individuals weaponizing the justice system to try to use it as an arm of cancel culture to come after individuals they don't agree with. And that's very much what happened here. Autumn Sardina called on the day that the Supreme Court had agreed to hear Jack's first case, uh, asked for a cake to celebrate Sardina's gender transition, and then used that to come after Jack. Uh, Sardina had been pursuing Jack in the past, uh, sending emails all the way back to 2012, calling Jack a hypocrite and a bigot. Scardina also offered to the commission to file an earlier complaint against Jack Phillips. And after this particular request, Scardina called Jack again and asked for a cake, which would be Satan smoking a joint, knowing full well that Jack Phillips could not create any of these cakes based on his religious beliefs. Scardina admitted at trial that Sardina was testing Jack and wanted to correct the errors of Jack Phillips' thinking. So this case, this recent case, is this at the state level in Colorado? Yes. So what happened was Scardina pursued this case initially through the Commission of Colorado, the Civil Rights Commission. Civil Rights Commission did pursue Jack for a while and then dropped that case sometime after the Supreme Court ruled in Jack's favor, upholding Jack's religious freedom to determine what cakes he can and cannot create. But then after that case was dismissed, Sardina sued Jack personally and sued Masterpiece Cake Shop, actually asking for over $100,000 over this cake request related to a gender transition. Wow. So have the court appearances now wrapped up in Denver in this case? The court proceedings are done for now. There will be some documents filed with the court and we'll be awaiting a decision in the next few weeks to months. Now, is ADF currently defending Jack Phillips? I saw something about another attorney, Sean Gates. Absolutely. ADF is still defending Jack, was defending him at this trial. We also brought in an allied attorney who has worked with us in the past, Sean Gates, and he came alongside us to help defend Jack. Great. Do you think the 2018 Supreme Court ruling will also apply to the refusal to make this gender transition cake? It absolutely should. The state of Colorado has, through that decision, been told that they have a rule in place that says that if an artist like Jack gets a request to create a message that is offensive to that artist, the artist doesn't need to create it. And Colorado has applied that rule to other cake artists who were asked to make messages that offended them. So very much we're hopeful that the court will apply that rule here and uphold Jack's ability to live according to his religious beliefs and not have to create expression that violates his core convictions. Jack Phillips has been standing up for his beliefs since 2012 in the court realm. How has this battle impacted Jack personally? Certainly, Jack Phillips has been pursued for a long, long time. He really just wants to be able to create cakes with the freedom of every artist. And this persistence in weaponizing the justice system to come after him. He's received hateful comments, death threats, all kinds of things. And this idea of this cancel culture movement to try to stop somebody that someone just disagrees with is wrong. There's been a severe impact on Jack's business, 
it's been really hard for him. He used to have 10 full-time employees, and now he's down to just him and his daughter full-time. So the kind of impact these cases can have on people is severe. We live in a pluralistic society, and one would hope that we can agree to disagree on certain matters and uphold everyone's freedom to create art according to their own beliefs. Kate, thanks to you and your team for standing up for religious liberty. Where can folks learn more about this case and what ADF is doing? People can follow this case and all of our cases at adflegal.org. That's Kate Anderson with Alliance Defending Freedom. I'm Tracy Lynn, Family Life News.